Hey guys, I'm going to talk about galleries today. <clears throat> um, let's walk through kind of how to add them, how to edit them, and the different types. So I'm on my home page and I have this gallery right here and it's a sliding gallery. Um, I can preview it. Maybe. So a sliding gallery, it can scroll automatically or you can grab it and pull it. So that's a sliding gallery. And to add a gallery, what you do is you go down here and you'll click this little icon. You'll see gallery. You click that and here is your gallery. You'll stretch it or um, type in the size over here. To match your canvas or however you need to do it. Um, over in your page view, that's where you'll see it. Uh, you may want to click and drag it to put it behind text um, or even pull it out of your view. You can see this is my existing gallery and this is a new gallery. Um, to add images to a new gallery, you're going to simply double click or you can go over to your right and click this manage images. I usually just double click because it's faster. Um, and you go to wherever in your media library that you're looking to add images and click the image that you want to add. Click this button. It says click to add. Or if you want to add multiples, you can hold command or control if you're on a PC. And that will select images. If you want to select a bunch in a row, you can hold shift and that will add all of those. Click to add. You can organize them over here by clicking and dragging and dropping. Um, if you want to delete any, you just select it and click this trash can button. Otherwise, just hit save and there is your gallery. So I'm going to delete that one real quick. And if you already have a gallery set up because you've bought a template, then what you're going to do is just select that gallery. And you can see over here in your gallery settings and um, the images that are in it. You're going to manage image or double click. And you can, again, select to delete images. Especially if it's a template, you're going to want to probably delete all of these and add your own images from over here. Super simple. Um, now let's look at the types of galleries. I'm going to go to another page. Let's go to my maternity page. Um, I'll just walk through kind of the different types of galleries. I, I've used sliding galleries mainly for this site because I like the way they look. Um, sliding galleries don't distort the image, they just show multiple images. So if your viewer is looking at your site on a large desktop screen versus a laptop, um, your images won't be distorted, which is nice. And you can, so let's click, click our gallery. Gallery settings is where you pick the type. So as I said, this is a sliding gallery. You can also do a simple gallery, which is where it fades or transitions to the next picture. It only shows one picture at a time. Um, and you edit the transitions here. Like I said, it can fade, it can slide. Here's where you adjust how fast it does that. Um, if you, you want to change pictures every two seconds, five seconds. Um, typically wouldn't do any quicker than two seconds, otherwise people will just get dizzy from the picture changing too fast. And here is another option. Tiled gallery is kind of a collage format. Um, and you select how many columns there are. So let's say we want two columns. It'll put your images in a two column format. And right here you see this word padding. You'll see it in each of the galleries. What it is, is it's this white space that's in between the pictures. Um, 
if you change it to zero, it goes away. You know, the more you increase it, the more the white space increases. So you can just play around with that. This full screen view, so in a tiled one, when you click a picture, it expands and um, shows you that picture all alone. And so you have background color and controls color. And I'll show you exactly what that means. So let's click this picture and you see how the background is white and these controls are gray. So that's what that does. And you can edit it right here. Select your colors from your template design um, and it will adjust those. For your galleries, if you want them to stretch all the way across from screen edge to screen edge, let me take this back to my sliding gallery. You want to make sure that this horizontal locking is selected. This will adjust the size of the gallery to match the, the screen width of your viewer. I think that is basically it for galleries.